Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positive Lead Diagnostics. Today we're working on a 2011 Dodge Avenger with a 2.4 liter engine. The customer complaint is a check engine light. It was a flashing check engine light, so a severe misfire. So first I'll just show you the codes um, and then I'll tell you what happened when I was originally looking at it and then we'll just go from there. So going to the scan tool right now. All right, so pretty much the car drove in here, had a flashing check engine light. These are the faults that we have. P0303, a cylinder three misfire, and then we have a P2308, ignition three, ignition coil three, secondary circuit, insufficient ionization. So I was like, oh cool, you know, probably just a coil or something, so. Uh, I think I looked at misfire counters. Uh, I'm not gonna show you that um, for obvious reasons, and I'll show you why in a sec. But, um, so this is pretty much it. All right guys, so with the coil fault, I just went straight to the ignition coil and I was gonna check for power and ground. So these are just two wire ignition coils. One wire shares a power feed with the other coils. The other one is the control wire that goes to the computer and it is a ground side switched. So the computer controls the ground. So, Here's the coil. Yeah, totally melted. So what happened is I, I opened the hood and I just put my probe right into the connector to the coil. I got good 12 volts and I go on the other side where the control wire and I have straight zero. And out of nowhere, the coil just starts smoking. So. Coil starts smoking, try to unplug it, and when I unplug it, pretty much this is what happens. So the other piece is down in the valve cover, it's just kind of stuck in there. It's something that we'll have to get out later. But um, yeah, that's what happened. So the coil just started smoking. So I did get it unplugged, and now just doing my circuit checks. Uh, so with the engine running, 12 volts on one side, and we should have a pulsed ground on the other side. Here's a shot of the connector. It's just a two wire ignition coil. That's it right there. And uh, here's a shot of the wiring diagram. So we're looking right here. This is our ignition coil three. So there's only two wires. Brown and dark blue, that's our power feed. You follow this up, it goes up to a fuse and that fuse only gets power when it's running. So then this other wire has to be our control that goes to the PCM or ECM. Um, so that's pretty much where I was doing my checks. I had 12 volts on one side. I had zero on the other. So pretty much that's where I left off. So there's a shot of the connector uh, with my lead. I'm back probed on the control wire. And the top of the coil, you can see the top of the coil right there. So pretty much the damage is done, the coil was cooked. So the question is, why did I have zero all the time on this control wire? So it should be a pulsed ground, it should be a 12 volt on off signal. So pretty much I'm just gonna run the car right now, keep you focused on the scope. So obviously we're gonna have a misfire right now. So this is on the control side. And what I don't know is, is it just not turning it on right now because the coil is unplugged? Or is there a problem on this circuit? And so pretty much, I'm just gonna take my test light and I have it going to battery positive. My test light's going to battery positive. When I touch ground, where's the ground? Where's the ground? Where's the ground? So when I touch ground, I get a light. On this control side, we should get a flicker. It's really dim. 
it's really dim, but you can see on the scope. That's what should be happening. So right now, the, the circuit is okay. The question is, why did that coil get cooked like that? To show you my test light. So you can see the flicker right there. That is my control. There's my control. That's the ground side. So this is the power side. So you got 12 volts coming into the coil, the other side's the ground. This is the 12 volt feed. Go back to the other side. And I need to keep my test light on here to simulate a known good coil. Because right now this circuit is fine. The only other time that I've seen anything related to this was on a Ford Edge. I think it was one of the first videos I posted where uh, there was no control on a coil. The coil was melted and it was actually a bad driver in the PCM. So a new ignition coil, new PCM. Um, this is what happens when there's too much energy stored up. So like when this is turned on, it builds inside the coil and when it shuts off, it lets that energy go down to the plug. What happened was when I was first checking this, this zero volts, what I think happened is it was grounded the entire time. So just storing energy inside this coil and eventually just melted the coil. So it's either a short to ground on the control wire for this, which means it would be grounded all the time and just building energy in here and this is what would happen. Or it's a bad computer and the driver was stuck on and caused this. So. I'm gonna put my test light on there. I need to leave that on there, simulate a known good coil, and uh, do some wiggle tests on the harness, and uh, hope that we can find something. So being that right now, it, that circuit seems like it's okay, um, it may be a harness problem is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna set my test light up and see if we can wiggle this harness around. There's not much to, to move because uh, the computer's right here under the hood and I'll show you that right now. And so pretty much our, our coil is right here and our harness comes through, goes right over and down to the PCM. The computer's right here. So this is the bracket for the computer. And so pretty much what I want to do I need to set this up on here. Let me turn this light off. You probably can't see that. That's really hard to see. <clears throat> Pretty much hold this here and wiggle around on the harness. This light right here, it should never be that bright. Uh, get my scope in there so you can see what's happening. I barely even touched anything. This problem, that's the problem right there. All right, I just stopped this. So pretty much, the problem was happening right there. I barely even touched anything.
So these spots right here, these, this is our ground control. And right here, this is where my test light's staying lit. That is a short to ground. Being that I barely touched anything, this is probably a harness. This is gonna be a harness issue. I'm gonna put that on record. Take a screenshot first. Short to ground. That's exactly what this is. So I barely touched the harness. It's either a problem in the harness or the driver in the PCM. And I'm just saying that as soon as I started touching stuff, it did that. Keep you focused on that. All right, so test light. I'll put the test light on. There's my control. I'm just gonna wiggle around this harness. Yep, I'm getting my test light to stay on. That right there is a short to ground. It's in this harness somewhere. My test light's just lit all the time now. All I did was just start pushing. Oh, my lead came out. All right, there it is. There's my control. And I'm just pushing on the harness. Right there. Right there. That should never be lit like that. You can see on my scope, that is a full short to ground. Okay, keys off. Test light to battery positive. There should, the key's off right now. There should not be any ground on this circuit. The computer is in total control of that. And when I move on the harness right here, you can see that my test light lights. I'm just pushing on the harness right here. It's right in this spot. If I move anywhere else, it doesn't do it. Right there. So there's a short to ground and it has to be on this control wire. And that is what cooked that coil. So pretty much that's what happened. I came under here to do my checks. I start touching stuff. And all of a sudden I move this harness and it fries the coil. That's exactly what happened. So pretty much, this is where I'm looking right here. Here's our harness, and I was pushing in this spot right here. You can see the harness sits right on that 10 millimeter bolt down there, and I'm pretty certain that's gonna be where our problem is. Probably right there. So let me check my wire keller, and then we'll start moving this harness over and try to get a better look at that. so I just got the coils unplugged this is a cylinder 4 coil just to give you a reference of where I'm at and this is where I was pushing on the harness when I pull it back there's a 10 millimeter bolt or maybe an 8 millimeter but right here you can see that hole in the harness that is where it is touching our control wire is a dark blue with orange and it's kind of hard to see That 
is exactly where our problem is going to be. So there's a shot of the harness right on that bolt. That's where it was shorted. So I'm just going to peel this tape off. Stab my hand. And the first wire I see, dark blue with orange. There's our dark blue with orange right there. Right there, of course. And there's the wires. So pretty much what has to happen, cut these wires, or cut this tape off this harness, uh, fix the wires, and retape it really good right here. All right guys, so pretty interesting one. Shorted control circuit on the ignition coil on cylinder three and it melted the coil. This thing smells terrible. So yeah, I was pretty surprised when I started doing my checks and out of nowhere smoke just started pouring out of this thing. So this is what happens when you get a short to ground on the control wire. And uh, the computer controls the ground and then we had a short to ground which just turns this thing on high and this is what happens. So pretty much what we're gonna do, peel these wires up, fix them, tape the harness off really well, and obviously needs a coil and that piece needs dug out of there. I'm not doing it right now, but that's gonna be the fix for this car. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. All right guys, just one last piece of this. I'll show you the codes that are still in it. Cylinder 3 misfire and the ionization fault. Just going to clear the faults. Then we'll bring up test plan which cylinder is misfiring. Start it up to show you my misfire counters that we fix this car by fixing the harness. We'll go to the scope. Just show you one last shot. Get you a known good shot of our cylinder three ignition coil control. And that's what our coil control should look like. Just to show you, I am on that cylinder. There's our control. Car's fixed. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.